Hi, this is Cash from LearningComputer.com. Today we will show you how to make a screen capture video with YouTube.com. We are basically going to walk you through all the steps from getting the software to uploading and then also interacting with your users. So the first thing like I mentioned is you need to get some kind of recording uh, software. For our uh, demo today we are going to be using uh, Camtasia Studio. You can actually get a um, I believe a 30-day free trial and uh, here's the website so let me uh, show you this first um, I believe that is the right place but essentially it's made by a company called TechSmith uh, when you get to this page you can uh, go ahead and uh, you know either buy the product or you you can do a free trial and uh, you should be good to go. It is uh, pretty uh, easy to use. They have uh, a lot of tutorial videos on on how to set it up too. In fact, we may actually have another video on Camtasia on our channel, uh, so feel free to check that out. Um, we will go over our channel in a little bit, but essentially, you know, you use Camtasia Studio, and then uh, you create the video. The next thing you need to do is. Uh, create an account with YouTube but one thing I will say that is that uh, for recording purposes we find that the best um, uh, options really for display uh, are if you keep the resolution low uh, you know we tend to record around uh, anywhere from 1024 uh, 768 uh, maybe even go up to uh, you know 1280 but you definitely don't want to go up to uh, you know something like 1440 because then it becomes way uh, way too small and on YouTube it is uh, you know hard enough to see things as is so uh, keep that in mind and as far as um, uh, you know audio we are just uh, using a, uh, a Logitech uh, headphone set nothing fancy but uh, you know it's one of those USB uh, plug-in type uh, um, headphone slash uh, microphone okay so the next thing you need to do is once uh, you download the software you make the video uh, then you need to go uh, over to YouTube and uh, <laughs> I put in the address in here in case uh, you have not heard of YouTube. Uh, once you get there you uh, can create an account by clicking here. Okay simple type stuff you are going to you know create a name uh, essentially this is uh, YouTube is owned by Google so you will be creating a uh, uh, essentially a Google account. If you already have a Google account you can definitely um, uh, you know use that to uh, work with YouTube. So we already have a YouTube account so I'm going to go ahead and log into this uh, and see uh, if we can get going on that. Okay so now you are in, into my uh, YouTube account. By the way I'm actually going to uh, put my um, <coughs> Uh, put my name in here also actually not my name but my alias into the uh, into this uh, location this is our our YouTube channel and you could uh, you know you could visit this and uh, we have a lot of different uh, content ranging from search engine optimization to SQL Server 2008 and above and actually uh, some other ones but anyway we are in, in YouTube and I am in my account um, once you create an account you get what's known as uh, my channel um, and you can uh, essentially organize and interact with uh, with your uh, subscribers and whatnot we have close to 800 subscribers but once you are in your account um, you know in, in really anywhere on the page you should be able to see this upload button okay uh, regardless of where you are and so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then uh, it says uh, video file upload you have uh, two choices you can actually uh, record you know from a webcam or you can upload a video uh, that uh, is on, on your computer so I'm going to go ahead and click on upload video and for that uh, I actually have uh, let's see ctemp so I'm going to because uh, our video right here is in here and I'm going to use that instead so let me do this one and then uh, the file I'm looking for is uh, it's called actually make cache there it is so select that file okay 
and now you can see that uh, YouTube is going to go ahead and process this file it actually goes uh, pretty fast uh, you know compared to what it used to take and so they have uploaded the file and they are processing it and while that is going on uh, you'll see um, a few questions here you know these have to do with copyright issues it says does your video contain any of the following okay graphics and pictures um, you know basically in terms of artwork movie or TV stuff nope video games uh, negative performance music concert type thing nothing and then you can uh, they're asking you to uh, put in some additional information so I can say something like this uh, video is produced by and owned by us okay or you could say by our company let's just say that right and then um, as for his rating for now I am going to leave that as is and um, while that is going on uh, you can uh, you know you can pick a rating if you needed to but I'm going to go ahead and click save changes what that is going to do is uh, you can see the file is still processing but I can um, I can start adding information you know about uh, the title of the video description tags and whatnot so uh, I believe I have another uh, so we we logged into YouTube we uh, we are in the process of uploading the video and now we need to fill in uh, you know title description and tags I guess the important point here is to remember that uh, whatever you're trying to uh, upload make sure that you are using you know uh, search engine optimization techniques so that people can find you let's say if you are working on a um, uh, maybe uh, let me think uh, cell phone provider okay and you have uploaded a video make sure you add things like you know cell phone or what type of phone if it's by Verizon uh, Sprint or whatnot so you need to essentially put in as much information as you can so people can actually find you and so our video has to do with uh, uh, how to make money online using Google Adsense so we we already uh, put this together so I'm going to let me just go ahead and copy this code and then uh, go back to YouTube and I will paste it one thing you may not be aware of that in description I believe you can have up to something like uh, you know seven eight hundred characters okay so that is a lot of uh, you know a lot of information that you can add I've seen a lot of videos that people just you know put in two lines and you know leave leave it as is okay so let me do this I'm going to do uh, Control C and then uh, do Control V. I think <coughs> my keys are all jacked up for whatever reason. But uh, okay, so this is part six, and I have to. I think I have to stop the video because I think somehow I yeah I'm not doing that. So I will be back, and we shall rest okay so I am back I apologize I think I somehow clicked on uh, one of those combination keys and my keyboard wasn't working so anyway I was in here I actually um, g went ahead and uploaded the video as it was already finished but we do need to enter the information into the title so you can do that by going to your uh, site uh, your YouTube channel and clicking on video manager okay and uh, here's the video that I just uploaded so I'm going to go ahead and click on edit okay one thing I was going to mention is that we are actually a YouTube partner and you uh, you may notice that our video is above 10 minutes and you may be limited by the amount of uh, video or the size of the video so keep that in mind but anyway so here is uh, what I was mentioning that in the description you can add up to I believe 700 characters so that is a lot of information okay so I'm going to uh, copy this from our notepad and uh, put that in here okay and within this I actually have the title of the video also so I'm going to be a little bit careful so I don't enable my keyboard uh, 
program or whatever it's on there but this is going to be uh, part six of this video series and we are going to be talking mostly about um, uh, ranking SEO ranking factors in here okay and uh, one thing I would highly recommend is in the description part uh, you do want to add your website in here um, this way when people are looking at your site and they would like to see more information they can uh, simply click on that and it will uh, take them there so typically what I do is I put this right at the top okay and then uh, you know I'm going to leave everything as is uh, okay actually uh, we look at some uh, off-page factors here so let me uh, let me fix this and I will uh, come back and then we can actually talk about the tags in here but uh, let me uh, wrap this up and I shall be back shortly okay so I basically updated some information in here and uh, again why are we spending some time in description well the whole idea is that let's say when somebody is looking for a term like Google AdSense okay or when they are looking for um, link building right or things like uh, SEO company in Dallas you want to be able to put in all those keywords into your description and also in tags so that you can actually be found okay now under tags we don't have